Привет! So basically I'm uh, writing a script which uh, downloads uh, all my Facebook photos. It's like uh, almost, uh, it's not almost, it's more than 900 photos to be exact. It's like 903 photos. I'm using Python and Selenium. Selenium uh, deals with uh, scraping because it automates the browser and since uh, Facebook uh, photos are grouped into many pages. You have to scroll down to get the links of the photos and this is can this is accomplished by selenium in the script after scraping uh, uh, the images I Open uh, each one of them with selenium to get the full static URL of the image because each image has a static URL which is hosted on Facebook servers and I do some filtering to get the static URLs then after getting the static URLs I use a Python package called wget to do the downloading and it's really fast uh, I have not assembled uh, the script uh, yet for distribution but if uh, I, I'm going to assemble it for distribution if, and if anyone is interested they can contact me so basically you have to watch the video you can skip many parts because it's live coding and maybe you don't you don't have the nerves to watch it to watch the whole video so enjoy it and make sure to subscribe to my channel so basically i managed to to scrape the static links for example if i copy this link uh, this is uh, the static url of the image and if i copy another one for example this is another image another so all I have to do now is to run wget and I'm going to have all my images downloaded yes this is a huge list uh, containing all the strings for each URL of my Facebook uh, photos so copy yes another one so many photos <laughs> this is another one it seems that the script has uh, done its job Yes, this is an old photo. So I'm going to further uh, develop the script and uh, use wget to download all the photos. Now that I have the static uh, URLs. So basically I managed to store all the links inside the text file so this all output in here is huge and uh, I just selected all this and then I ran um, right click copy and then I pasted it on um, on LibreOffice because uh, passing it inside uh, text file directly didn't work and then from uh, this file I passed uh, it into a text file so basically now I have a huge Python list with uh, with the links for each one of my photos so if I uh, copy the first one 
in here. This is the last photo which I have uploaded on Facebook. And if I try another one, so this one. So each link is separated by a comma, it's an element inside the list. If you know Python, you should already know this. So this is another photo, which I have uploaded uh, lately on Facebook. Hopefully I have all the links, but I'm not sure yet, so I have to... to go by the approach of trial and error. And this is another one. So now all I have to do is... Uh, use this text file and with the help of wget I will hopefully manage to download all of my photos in bulk and uh, fortunately for me I managed to copy this terminal output because it's hard and it would be time consuming to do the process again as it may take like two or three hours or more uh, depending and I'm lucky because uh, the energy might go off as you never know so from here I have to code another script to process this uh, text file and download the photos Uh, now I have managed to extract all the links from my text file from uh, where I saved them earlier. Basically, I'm writing another script which is going to download uh, the photos. It's called download uh, underscore photos dot So if I run the script, if I run the script right now. Uh, I should get a report on the number of uh, links and on the links themselves. So there are nine, uh, 903 uh, links and each link corresponds to a photo. Uh, I have to mention that uh, only me photos are not included uh, because I didn't scrape uh, with the login so I have to update the script but first I'm going to download uh, all the public photos so for example if I copy past I get this if I copy again past another one there are 903 images so again another one another one yes so the idea now is uh, to save the all photos inside this directory so I'm going to do uh, download a single one using wget this is a python package uh, you can install it with pip install wget and wget basically downloads uh, a static file based on the url so url equals to i'm going to copy it from the terminal for example, let's say I want to download this one, I'm going to copy the static URL and I'm going to paste it in here. Yes, this is a very long URL. And then the out, which I guess is the path, I'm going to say photos, facebook1.jpg. So during my observation I noticed that Facebook stores the photos as JPEG so this is how I'm going to store uh, uh, the photo for this single download 
so I'm going to uh, run this piece of code ok module yes because I have I have <laughs> I have to use a method since uh, I didn't call a method I just run the module I just ran the module wrong verb ok that get has no attribute that get like really <laughs> W get dot Ah the download oh that's cool <laughs> shit it's so high uh, there with the download no that get okay let's check now yes it's here it works so I'm going to save 903 photos in here and I'm not going to do a lot of loading on the Facebook server because it probably will detect uh, the script as a robot, so I'm going to to do the to do to do the download inside this for loop, and for each uh, photo, I'm building the name in here person D, and in here is going to go the counter. So photos, photo title in here equals to photo title dot format um, format um, um, so string formatting dot format I guess Better to do this one for the title and lines in here. So this counter in here counts the line. The line refers to a link. Then it goes to percent %d in here. This is string formatting. So percent %d is going to uh, be filled with uh, this counter so it goes uh, photo facebook photo one and then two and then three and then four until it uh, reaches the, the final uh, photo and in here i'm going to to place the person string so and uh, this is going to do the formatting photo title so I hope this works okay I'm going to import time because I want to sleep after each download this time module is really cool and programming um, if you could you know what I'm talking about so after each download I'm going to sleep a bit time to sleep 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 better so w get in here download that download ok url equals to the line out equals to photos this is going to be replaced by photo title photo title is uh, built in here with the expression so now i'm going to run the script so I'm 
going to comment this line. So Python download photos.py name that we will get is not defined. Yes. Import duplicate. Okay. Ooh. -hoo. Ooh. Unknown URL type. So what happened in here? Hmm. Maybe this has to do with the encoding while reading the script because when I print the URLs it works. So this links maybe I can specify the encoding in here that UTF-8 so there are some strange characters in here in the beginning because this one is the scheme of the protocol and it goes goes and there are some strange characters so so i'm going to print the line in here So where, where does it append the lines? For line in parsed, lines plus equals to 1. Print line. not all arguments converted during string formatting how about I comment this one too comment comment ok so no weird character when I do print so the URL is clean maybe encoding should be in here when I do reading ETF Let's see if it works. Takes no keyword arguments. Okay. So no keyword arguments. Their object has no attribute decode. Okay, it doesn't. So that read for line may be in here. Decode. But this this one is still a string I guess. It's not like some binary string or yes it's not ah it's a list, okay for lining yes yes it's a list because when the split happens mm. it produ produces a list so I'm going to say 
string type guy. So what type is line? Is star okay? So it's a star, but why does it give me those weird characters? Print line, okay. So we stir. No weird characters in here. So these strings seem really clean. Scheme, scheme, no weird characters, no, 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 no. So is it because I am doing print and they are being cleaned? Maybe. So if I say B dot decode etf-8 yes it decodes it but when I do normal string it has no attribute decode this is a binary string as far as I know so if I get the same error I, it means that I should have a normal string and I don't get it why I have these weird characters. Unknown oh, world type. So it happens with this one. Yes, it prints the first line, which is this one. So if I copy this and I do wget that download URL equals to And then out equals to photos Facebook one that JPEG. I get the download. If I do it again, I get a download. Look photos, photos. Yes. But why does it rename it? I didn't get it. Okay. So basically this URL works. But when I do double get out down code in here. URL equals to join. So maybe it's because of the quotes 
Uh, I don't think so. Yes, it works. So... It has a single quote in here. Maybe that's a problem. Let's take a look at the strings again. So So it has a single quote in here and a single quote in here which makes it a string. URL equals to dine I really don't get this So it works when I don't use duplicate. Ah, it's probably because each one of these, yes, this single quote should be removed. So if I take a look at the text file, yes, they are in single quotes. So I have to remove I have to remove the single quotes clean single quotes from stream button. In this method quotes are removed from both ends of the string. Okay, let's try strip. Let's strip it. I'm going to strip it. Dine equals to... Okay. Dine equals to dine. Dine dot strip. Okay. Print dine. I'm not going to print dine anymore. I'm going to download it. There is a problem in here for the title. Hmm. For the title equals to photo title. Percent times. So I'm going to give it a try right now. And again and again, it doesn't work.
heck, where does it find that kind of string? I don't get it, it's this, this weird stuff. Join post dot split. Print line. Print line. Okay. <clears throat> and why aren't the single quotes being stripped? So I was smoking a cigarette and I was thinking that this, uh, uh, these single quotes which are present in the URL are being encoded by the URL library, I guess, or whatever wget is using to perform the transactions. And now I'm going to try to strip them, to remove them basically from the URL. So this is how I'm going to try it, and now, yes, it's empty, so I'm going to run it now. So I might, no, I'm not doing the download, so photo. And maybe I need to set photo title to the previous state. Because it takes a new value. So this is kind of <laughs> like a shepherd coding, but that's what I said. I'm not going to think of a way of how to not repeat myself in here, so. Okay, so, and again, So instead of stripping, uh, I managed to replace the each single quote character with an empty space and I hope it doesn't get encoded, so if I do Python download, yes, yes, where is the problem? doesn't find anything. So 
so this is the first URL Like where does it get the thing called and I don't get it? This says URL mismatch. Ah, uh, maybe no. I do the split in there, so it doesn't get the comma, so I don't get. Maybe it's the URL, which is uh, the problem. So, I was copying two URLs, so. Yes, the URL is correct, but it put some weird characters in here so I'm going to check it now Copy link, so I'm going to copy the first link. So it's correct. So if, if I get uh, to print the correct link, I don't understand why it gets encoded later. So Replace Unknown URL type Sub that full URL in here. Okay, I'm going to to place all the URLs inside the list and check from there. URLs empty list. So I'm going to append in here URLs that append line. 
and in here I'm going to print URLs. I mean, it got really weird, so to get stuck in this problem, but. Oh, there is some weird characters in here, so... So the first... Uh, the first URL has this weird character, UFF. Then the others are correct. So I'm going to... Like, how do I change this thing? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay. Remove jars from string Python. Well, I'm not interested in replacing. Yes, I know I can use replace, okay, but with an empty sta space, what if it, uh, it gets encoded? Pattern lines from string. Okay, I'm going to use replace. Line equals to line that replace line equals to line that replace shit. This is live coding, so don't uh, don't accept me to be. Perfect. Yes, what where was the output? This one. So this is uh, and then I'm going to do another replacement. For the new line, Let's take this. So let's try. Yes, it's clean, clean. So, I'm going to try to download now. And I'm not going to download it inside the FB photo. Inside the... What was the name? Photos folder, okay? I'm just going to download it inside the root uh, directory. Yes, that's okay again because now it uh, it gets the space and uh, encodes it. So I put a space in here, but it's encoded percent twenty space uh, encoding. Okay. How to remove space from a Python string?
so strip is going to work no okay yes it's my favorite yes the terminal of course the terminal is my favorite application my main application I don't use any other application as much as I use the terminal line equals to line that strip Oh, it's downloading. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And Facebook isn't catching anything until now. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's so fast. Relax, relax. Oh. Yes, keep going. I hope I have uh, enough disk space to to store all these images. It's like 1,000 photos, almost. Not 1,000. It's like 903 photos. This is really fast. So it seems that Facebook doesn't uh, block uh, retrieving uh, static resources. So this is finished. Why doesn't the for loop cycle quit? Ah, it's finished because it's uh, same number here, same number here. Yes, it's done, it's done. So, if I try to count uh, as, uh, JPEG files, um, scraping Facebook photos, okay. So many JPEGs. LS uh, grab that uh, JPEG files. <laughs> Just five hundred six. Why is that? Hmm. If there are like nine, uh, 903 files, why does it give me only 506? So I'm going to remove all these JPEG files. Okay. They are all done. So I'm going to empty the trash. So trash is basically a directory. Share trash. Okay, it's a directory. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to count the links again because uh, when I did it previously, it, 
reported 903 links if each line is a link So how many URLs do I have? Nine hundred three URLs. So do I have any empty string in here? I don't think so. So 903 URLs should be like 903 photos and I don't get I don't get it where I have just uh, so I'm going to save them now inside a separate directory equals to photos and the name of the photo which is uh, photo title okay photo title okay Like, uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. I try to pass the variable directly. What a dummy! Some string formatting in here. Phot photo title. Yes, now should be okay. Well, maybe to see it in action, I should keep this open. So it started from one, okay. So this numbering helps to count the photos. Yes, it's really fast. I'm not sure if this wget uh, python package is uh, using uh, the wget utility which is written in C I guess or it's just the it just has the same name, so I'm not sure. But it seems cool to pass to pass the night with this. Right now it's like uh, 400. No, it's five. I can't keep up with this. It's like 600 right now 
Yes, it's going, it's going up. Yes, yes, yes. So I should have 903 in the end. And Facebook isn't uh, limiting my uh, download. They are not uh, detecting it as the kind of a robot, which is cool. Because I don't know how to bypass it. And uh, they probably spend a lot of money, so... <laughs> Who can bypass it? That's a question. So now it's finished. Do I have 903? Yes. 903. I have all my photos downloaded. And the uh, wget now quit. So the script didn't get stuck. Yes, this is cool. So thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel.